Howdy y'all, I'm Redbeard. Today, we have a slight problem. We got a snowstorm coming in. It's February 1st, up here in cold New England. And we got a snowstorm coming in and I need to barrel a snowblower because I got one that does not work. So later on, I'll be making a does it run video. But anyway, moving on, I have a pretty good size pickup and this is what it looks like with the uh, with the ATV ramp on the back of it. Not very uh, not very versatile to try and pull a snowblower up onto by yourself. There we go, there's there she is, almost almost straight up and down. So you can see the truck's pretty well lifted. And not really fun trying to pull anything in and out of the back of that that's got wheels on it. So what we're going to do today is do away with this. And go through the setup of this. I know it looks kind of foolish on a jacked up truck to have a rack on the back. But we're going to set this up and uh, see how it goes together and sets up and all that fun jazz. All right, so I already took the liberty of opening everything up and figuring out what size of the stuff I need and whatnot. And so I'm gonna pull this thing out and try and put it together and we'll see how it goes. First, first off, it's got a few tiny brackets to hold the top and bottom together. And they got a couple of small bolts. And then from there, we'll uh, throw on the gate and the bottom piece to hold the hold it to a hitch receiver and all that and we'll see how long this takes and how well it goes together and works.
So what we're dealing with here is a tiny little Phillips head screw and a 8 millimeter locking nut. And it's going to take a while, so I'll speed this up. And uh, there's three three mid-size braces on the front, and two small, uh, two mid-size on the mid-size on the end, one small, and then offset on the back is the front. And I will come back to video as soon as I get that part done. It, uh, as soon as the braces are finger tight on the bottom, you put the top on and then tighten everything all down. So I'll be back as soon as that's all done. So we're back now. It's been a while. It was cold. My hands were seizing up and all that fun stuff. But I got a little bit more of it done. Uh, these here, you... These supports here, you leave finger tight on the bottom when you assemble them. So that when you put this on, you put all the supports around it on the inside. And then you can wind everything up and tighten it all down. And you'll be all set once you do that. Then as for the trailer hitch mount, you put that on. And that is a 5 seconds Allen screw right there you put the big washer on top and it's 10 millimeter nut on the bottom and you want the opening to be to your right so you gotta assemble it correctly to be able to do that and i uh i didn't do like the instructions said they said to flip it over and do it upside down or something i i stood up on end and did it that way so i could reach through the holes here to be able to reach and tighten everything up and then the cargo hooks here have a 10 millimeter nut and washer at the bottom of them. I just put them in, tighten them up. And the only thing left now is the ramp. And we'll see how that goes. That's uh, the nut and bolt to that are either 13 or a half inch. Either one uh, fits the nut so you'll be able to put that on.
And next up will be these locking collar pins to hold the gate in place when it's closed. They slide through on the top rail. There's a hoop right there. You'll see me push that right through and lock that in. That'll be the location of where they go in a way. I'll, uh, I'll drop the gate down so we can see if it's even going to work on this truck or if I'm going to have to probably barrel a truck because this thing sits so ridiculously high that it may not reach the ground without being at too much of an angle. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to say we're a little too high on that. I'm probably going to have to borrow another truck to be able to do it. But thankfully, uh, somebody else bought this to help me out and uh, let me assemble it so I could do the video and all that fun jazz. And so I guess we'll be borrowing another truck for that. But at least you get the gist of the assembly and everything else. Like I say, those braces that go top to bottom, you want to leave them finger tight so you can get the top rail on and get that all lined up. There's actually holes in the front too. There, there. So you can put reflectors in. I just opted not to because they're right here. And uh, other than that, Pretty well straightforward once you look at the instructions real quick, get an idea where all the braces go and everything else. Goes together fairly easy. I just had a hard time because like I say, it's extremely cold here in New England. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll make a video later to see how it actually works and everything else if I get the chance. Uh, if not, the next one should hopefully either be snowmobile, or not snowmobile, snowblower will it run or we got the big truck here that I can go through that's a limited edition pickup or I got a trail boss that I can go through and I got a few other projects on the line too so we'll see what's up next.